Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This year, Texas has the great honor of hosting the Super Bowl. In just a couple of weeks, Houston will host the largest event of the year in the United States, with approximately 100,000 people expected to attend and more than 100 million expected to tune in on television. The Department of Homeland Security calls a Super Bowl the most attractive target for those who want to commit harm. But thanks to partnerships between local, state, and federal officials, canines will be deployed for bomb detections. Officers are on the lookout for suspicious activity, and air security will be ramped up, to name just a few of the precautions. Law enforcement is doing a great job of reminding everyone who plans to attend, if you see something, say something. But that it's January, and it's Human Trafficking Awareness Month, I want to remind everyone that see something, say something doesn't just apply to unattended backpacks. During a recent meeting on Capitol Hill, DHS reminded all of us that events such as the Super Bowl bring the good, the bad, and the ugly. While a majority of the attendees are coming to have a good time and with good intentions, the few who do not can disrupt and ruin many lives. So I ask those who attend to help us in keeping Texas one of the safest and best states in the country by reporting anything to law enforcement they may believe to be suspicious and allow trained officers to investigate. And this includes suspected human traffic. According to the Polaris Project, warning signs of someone being a victim of human trafficking include not being allowed to leave or come and go as they wish, appearing malnourished, not being in control of his or her own identification documents, not being allowed to speak for themselves, and showing signs of physical abuse, torture, or physical restraint. While law enforcement will be ramping up efforts to reach out to victims and give them the resources they need to get help, it lies on each and every one of us to be aware of our surroundings and help when we suspect someone's in trouble or something is not right. It's important to remember that human trafficking doesn't just happen during large sporting events. It happens every day, often going unseen. While events like the Super Bowl help bring it to our attention, it's important to remember that when the event's over, men and women, boys and girls, are still being victimized each and every day. UNICEF has estimated that there are 1.5 million victims of human trafficking in the United States alone in 2014. And that number soars to 27 million worldwide. This is a problem that's going to continue to need our attention 365 days a year. We've got to work together to end this form of human slavery. 